Welcome to part three of our series on data management for smart manufacturing. In part two of this series, we navigated through identifying data sources and integration opportunities as a first step to implementing a data management strategy for smart manufacturing. In this part, we delve into the methods of transforming, standardizing, normalizing, and modeling the collected data. This process is crucial to ensure that the data can be correctly understood and interpreted, thus enhancing its quality and usefulness. Subscribe to our channel to watch the whole series on industrial data management. Okay, let us get started with part three. Digitalization and data analytics play a pivotal role in successfully realizing your organization's smart manufacturing goals, regardless of their definition. This involves many benefits from using analytics to detect patterns in equipment data for predictive maintenance to tracking product quality in real time. In reality, the full potential of these benefits can only be harnessed with a thoughtfully crafted data management strategy. This strategy will transform the extensive data produced from manufacturing operations into high quality, actionable, real-time insights, thereby enhancing cycle time efficiency. Nevertheless, data originating from industrial assets pose several challenges. These include domain-specific naming conventions, the absence of context, and the lack of a standard data model. Moreover, the data is typically in its raw, unprocessed state and fails to provide time-specific snapshots of an asset, which is a critical component for advanced analytic applications. Data management must be implemented and incorporated within the process of data integration for intelligent manufacturing through a process that is termed data ops. Data ops provides an automated method to ensure quality analytics while reducing the data analysis cycle time. Simply put, it facilitates the seamless integration of data from plant flow machines and other sources by extracting data from the source transforming it to match the destination's format, and then transmitting it to a central hub, typically an MQTT broker holding the unified namespace. We discuss more in part five of this series on how to use MQTT Sparkplug to create a unified namespace structure representing the semantic hierarchy of your organization, and then plug transformed data into it from various sources. Data ops also ensure efficient, secure, and governed data ingestion, detecting the rules for data sharing across a manufacturing enterprise to enforce uniformity. It guides how data models are structured, chosen, combined, and coordinated to create data-driven applications that meet operational goals. In this layer, we find various tools some specializing in data ops, while others serve as visualization or integration platforms that also offer data ops capabilities. Hybrid Intelligence Hub, for example, is a platform primarily focused on data ops. In contrast, Inductive Automation's Ignition SCADA and PTC ThingWorks lean more towards SCADA IoT platforms, but they also provide data ops functionality. In any case, Central to Data Ops is a data-driven approach that requires a deep understanding of key concepts, including data modeling, data normalization, data transformation, and data contextualization. Data modeling is a crucial starting point in any data integration for smart manufacturing initiatives. Its main purpose is to define the structure, relationships, and characteristics of the data that will be utilized, thereby facilitating a better understanding of the data's nature, connections, and potential. This involves a detailed process of identifying and categorizing diverse data attributes 
including real-time operational data and those that provide context to such data. For example, a machine on the assembly line may have multiple sensors that track temperature, vibration, and output speed. A simple data model for this machine might include the following. Moreover, data modeling may entail classifying sensor data by types such as temperature, pressure, or vibration, and delineating the relationships between different data types. It also involves establishing rules for data integrity to ensure the reliability and consistency of the data. A well-structured data model ensures that the collected data is well organized, easily comprehensible, and ready for further processing and analysis. This not only aids in designing the data schema for data storage, but also lays a solid foundation for data manipulation, allowing for the realization of smart manufacturing use cases. Data normalization is a process dedicated to refining and standardizing collected data. The primary objective of this process is to streamline the data, reducing redundancy and enhancing data integrity, thereby making it more machine readable and clear. Normalization is pivotal on the plant floor where data is generated from many sensors and devices. Data from these diverse sources may come in varied formats, contain duplicates or even contain unneeded information. Normalization ensures that these data inconsistencies are eliminated by adhering to uniform formats for similar data types, correcting the order of time series data, and eliminating any other errors. For instance, if temperature readings from different sensors come in both Celsius and Fahrenheit, they should be normalized to a standard unit. Similarly, the time data may come in different formats like Unix timestamp or different time zones, and normalizing this to a standard format like coordinated universal time ensures consistency. So after normalization, this data might look like this. This process is essential because messy or cluttered data can impede comprehension and generate inaccurate results when analyzed or visualized. Moreover, data redundancy can lead to unnecessary storage costs. Through normalization, the data is tidied up, made consistent, and presented in a similar format, thereby enhancing interpretability. Data transformation involves converting raw data into a more suitable format for analysis or further processing. Data transformation can involve things like aggregating data, performing mathematical computations, or converting data types. This might mean converting sensor readings into a more human-readable format or aggregating data from multiple sensors into a single metric. It's often necessary to have clean, consistent data before you can effectively transform it. For example, if you wanted to analyze the average output speed of the machine over an 8-hour shift, you might transform the raw output speed data into an average output speed per shift like the following. This transformed data provides a more useful metric for analysis. Data contextualization is a crucial process in a well-structured data workflow that adds value to the raw data by adding meaningful context. It enhances the interpretability of the data, facilitating more accurate and effective decision making. Consider an industrial IoT setting where a sensor might register a high temperature reading. Comprehending the context such as the sensor's location, the time of the reading, and the typical range of readings can help ascertain whether this reading is an anomaly or within expected parameters. For instance, you might add information about the specific product being manufactured during the shift. 
any reported maintenance activities or anomalies reported in the environment, like a power surge. After contextualization, the data might look like this. This contextualized data gives a more complete picture of the situation, helping analysts to make more informed decisions. DataOps encourages the use of metadata and data lineage. These tools provide additional context, enriching the data and making identifying patterns, trends, and anomalies easier. In turn, this helps organizations optimize their processes, enhance efficiency, and reduce downtime. Real-time contextualization is also supported in data ops, offering immediate insights that enable timely, informed decisions. Essentially, the principle is to equip the models with all the necessary information, making the end application more reliable and efficient. In this video, we provided the insights into the role of data ops in smart manufacturing, highlighting the importance of digitalization and data analytics in achieving your organization's goals. In part four, we discuss the effectiveness of utilizing existing data modeling standards to streamline data exchanges and enhance communication among various applications and machines. We will explore and provide a comparative analysis of four such standards. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.